All right, so my insurance that I have was paid up all the way up until the end of this year, which is coming up within like the next, at the end of this month. So what I decided to do is to make sure that I got everything out of the way, um, being that I hadn't had insurance for a while. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I got like every doctor's appointment that I could under this insurance plan. So this is the last appointment that I'm making and this should cover me throughout the end of the year and then from there I'll just have to figure out what options are available to me um, based upon whichever scenario that I'm in next. Hi everyone, I'm back. So what today's evaluation is going to be is based upon health care and health insurance. So a lot of people don't know, but what I decided to do was buy this private health care insurance that was at an actually rather more affordable rate than what the, uh, the Affordable Health Care Act could give me. So I purchased that. After purchasing private health care insurance, I realized that that health care insurance was limited also. So what I decided to do was get a general idea of what other healthcare insurance options are out there. For example, like the healthcare department, the local one, and checking to see what they give versus what my insurance can't give. Getting those things and then reporting those things of which are available to people who may not be able to afford health insurance at all. This idea has stemmed from the concept that when my healthcare insurance runs out, which is at the end of this month, what would I be able to receive? And would it be beneficial to just switch over that responsibility over to my local healthcare department or whether it would just be more beneficial to just buy my healthcare insurance and then let the healthcare department take care of the things that they may not. All right, so let's go ahead and crank up here and go on our journey. Okay, so we're walking and we're headed on into the health department and we're just doing this to get a general idea of what they can give versus what paid insurance gives. Okay, so I've just gotten all the information that I need and now I'm in the waiting room waiting to do the test. The one thing that I'm seeing is that it doesn't really cover what health insurance doesn't cover. So it's almost like you just gotta get health insurance either way. Okay, so I'm just walking out of the health department. So under my previous insurance that I'd had, I would go to the doctor on routine visits and certain things wouldn't be covered like x-rays or certain tests. So what I decided to do was do a um, research on whether the health department would give some of the things that private health care insurance um, services don't give or businesses don't give or in plans. So under that, what I found was that for a woman, for someone like me or of my age, they would give like a feminine health care visit. They would give those, but just without the cancer screening. So that's a good thing because if you get that, for instance, when you go to the doctor and when you get a, an appointment, for example, I went probably about I'd say eight or nine months ago, I had this other healthcare insurance plan. Under that healthcare insurance plan, um, it had everything but like dental. When I went to the doctor, under the plan, they had, they had different, I guess, caveats to it, where certain prescriptions may not be covered or certain visits may not be covered. If I got a common cold and if I wanted to go to the walk-in clinic, it might not be covered. So I would have to pay full 
value of the treatment. Some of them also were kind of like okie dokes to where it was like at up front, you would walk into the doctor and they wouldn't give you a copay. But later on, you would get a bill and it's almost like you're paying the full payment, but just with like a 20% discount from the doctor visit. For example, if the doctor gets paid, let's say, I don't know, $100 an hour or a, a doctor's routine visit would be, I don't know, let's say $120 to come in and see the doctor. Under one of those discount kind of caveat kind of plans, you'll, you'll walk out paying $110 or $90, which still for someone who may be unemployed or for someone who may be underemployed, it's just not possible. So what I did today was I went to the, the health department and the only thing for a woman, and I'm speaking from a woman's point of view, that they would give would be something similar to like a feminine care visit. So under a feminine care visit, we all know what that comes with, but at let's just say that at the health department, if you really need that, you can get that, but they'll give you all the testing, um, but just without the cervical uh, cancer screening. That's the only thing that they won't do and all of that would be for a price of $30. And if you do have uh, come up with anything, they say that you can get the prescription that's right in it. And that's included in the $30, which I feel is amazing for the health department. The only thing that I would say would be the major difficulty would be for those that say, I didn't say I was sick with the flu or say I was sick with some type of infection that the health department doesn't cover or what about dental dental is exp very expensive and I, it's so expensive that I wouldn't even be able to cover it on not even my private plan but not even under the Affordable Health Care Act unfortunately as much as I love the the presidential administration the previous one i i can honestly say that the it, it private health care insurance is way more affordable than the affordable health care act for someone in my position that i started out when i looking at the affordable health care act my my prices started out at like 200 dollars, and that's a month and i could not commit to that and a private health care insurance would i was paying I think I paid out for six months altogether, I paid like almost $200 alone. And that was for a full six months of a plan. So what's happening now is the fact that under the private healthcare insurance, as we've stated, it does have caveats. And under that private healthcare insurance, what I wanted to do was see what, um, what the, the government could do to kind of match that and what if they both kind of worked with each other kind of as each other's opposite so where the affordable health care act or where county government can't give private insurance can give and where private insurance gives the government gives and i found that there is a, a way in there is like this little nook cranny kind of thing that you can get in